Hello everybody. I was asked if it is possible to make this spiral shapes without splines and without add-ons. And I answered this question uh, and I said yes, of course you can use the screw modifier. It is practically the same as the radial sweep in Modo which is not quite true and this is why I thought I make another spiral video. <coughs> Pardon me. Okay, actually the screw modifier does exactly what the name says. It is used to make screws and this means you can draw any profile, I make this triangle here, then go to the screw modifier and it will make a 360 degree angle by default 16 sides, one iteration and the screw height of zero. So if you want to have maybe five iterations because you want to model the bottom of a uh, of a light bulb and then say we make five iterations with 0.2. If you want to uh, combine or get rid of the double vertices then you must apply this. I will not do it but this looks pretty much like the beginning of the screw part of a light bulb. But I would like to show you some other things you can do. So let's undo this and I will go to edit mode, get rid of these two vertices here, so only one is left. So X vertex so we only have one vertex left, left here. Then I add uh, in object mode, I add a cone and grab it in Z and put it up a little to about here. Now I select my single vertex again and add again a screw modifier with uh, 32 sides and 32 render sides. Make it five iterations also and bring it up here to wherever I need it. Then I apply this modifier at a new one, namely a uh, shrink ramp modifier. Select my cone as the target, apply this modifier also, otherwise the spring jumps back to its uh, original position and then I can delete this and I have exactly the same shape as I had in my previous tutorial for this uh, spiral shaped building. And you can use exactly the same techniques from here on. What we also can do is, if I tap to uh, select this first, tap to edit mode, you see in top view we have an exact precise spiral and we can select everything, scale it down to zero on Z, left click and then shift S 
selection to cursor and now we have the basis to make a flat spring for example extrude on Z like so if you need it for the spring of a watch or whatsoever and we can add a solidify and apply it and our spring is finished if you want to uh, bevel these sharp edges you can do so by selecting edge mode select sharp edges then control b oops that was too much and just with two segments and a profile of one then go to item mode or sorry object mode shade smooth if this is not smooth enough we can give it another subdivision and you see we have an absolutely perfect flat spring okay that was the obvious uh, way to do such a spiral now i would like to show another one which is not so obvious but works equally well okay so i make a new one general discard changes then i add um, a cone again but this time i go to edit mode select the top vertex and then bevel this vertex and the reason is if I bevel it ever so slightly only then the triangles which I used to have before are now all quads and we can uh, use loop cut and slide by the way you might have noticed that my shortcut was alt q it is actually control r but alt q is not used and is much easier to reach for me so now i want to have 256 cuts in here and let me let me undo this and first go to edge mode now alt q or control z again and make 256 cuts and now i have only these spirally Edge is selected, I go to Edge, Mark Sharp. Uh, I use Mark Sharp because we don't have Edge selection. Sets in, uh, in Blender, but it works equally well when I use the Sharp Edges. So now I zoom in on the bottom here let's go to one of these views then alt sorry alt a to deselect everything go to polygon or face mode a to select all the faces then right click and say triangulate faces and you see the triangulation goes wild it's not all in the same uh, direction but this can easily be fixed by going to the fixed and now you see we have a triangulation which is always the same so I go back to edge mode select one of these edges and shift G and select the same sharpness then i can 
press the X key and dissolve these edges. Now I select this edge here, Alt select this one, then Control I, invert the selection, X and delete edges. And you see we now have a spiral again which can be used for whatever purpose we want to use it. If we use a cylinder in instead of a cone, then we get a normal spiral as we did with the screw tool. <coughs> Excuse me. So in top view, with uh, all selected and in vertex mode I delete this one and I probably would delete some up here, control up, x delete vertices or as many as you like and again here we can do the same what I did in my first spiral shapes. I go to this side view, select everything, and in edge mode, extrude in Z up to about here and you see now we can close these gaps as I did in my first tutorial and that's it for today. I hope it helped one or the other and you liked it. Take care and see you some other time. Bye bye.